Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Ivan with TipAdger.com here to bring you another gear review. And today, I'm talking about these guys, which are compression recovery socks made by Zoot. I picked up these socks, I think back in 2012, when I kind of started working out more and my deployment schedule picked up to where I was deploying more often, more and more flights. And what they end up doing for you, if you're not familiar with compression socks, they actually use compression garments a lot in hospitals post-operation to reduce swelling. On the athletic side, we're doing the exact same thing. These being compression socks, they're going from my foot all the way up to just below my knee, and they're providing compression. What that does is it reduces swelling and keeping it tight, it ends up pushing out all the lactic acid that would otherwise build up in those muscles, which in turn reduces your recovery time. These Zoot recovery socks are knee high, applying compression up over your calf. As you can see here on the bottom, it says Min 4R. These are men's size four, and they range three, four, and five. And the R is for right. Being anatomical, this is made for your right foot, fits really well. And when you look at it, you're like, I don't know if that's gonna fit. Reason being, there's actually a lot of stretch in here with the polyester for the compression. And so when you put these on, it's kind of a bear. As I mentioned, these aren't incredibly easy to put on. They're super tight, hence compression. But once you get it over your foot, pretty much just smooth out everything. Bring it all the way up as high as it goes and you're golden. The sizing on these is definitely strange compared to regular sizing for things. The way these work, again, three sizes, three, four, and five. The three is 12 to 15 inches. The four, these right here, are 15 to 17 and a half inches. And then five, 17 and a half to 20 inches. What that measurement is, is the thickest part of your calf around here. You're gonna measure your calf, figure out which one it corresponds with. That's the size of recovery socks you want. As far as the compression on these, what they're rated for, 18 to 33 millimeters of mercury. What the hell is that? Well, a millimeter of mercury is equal to one tor or 133.3 pascals. I don't know what any of that stuff means. Basically, it's a rating for pressure, and the amount of pressure that is in these is in the ideal range for reducing swelling and pushing lactic acid out, assisting with recovery. I use these socks a couple different ways. One being to recover from running. I'll go through these stretches where I don't run for a long time, and then I'm like, you know, I'll go run three or four miles today. Totally smoke my calves. And mind you, these aren't magic. Like, you'll never be sore again. What they do, though, is speed up your recovery. So rather than being sore at this level, you're sore down at this level. Again, rapidly speeding that recovery process up. The other place I use them is traveling. I was doing a bunch of contracting, like a lot of fairly short trips. Each trip over to Afghanistan, like nonstop, 17 to 19 hour flight. We'd stop somewhere to refuel, but never get off the plane. With that, sitting for that period of time, you have fluid collect in your feet, your legs, everything like that. It's not good. And so get on the plane, take my shoes and socks off, throw my recovery socks on, about a half an hour out, take my shoes and socks off, or I'm sorry, take my recovery socks off, put my shoes and socks back on, get off the plane feeling good. And as a bonus, never died of a blood clot, which apparently happens. If you wanna pick up a pair of these guys, best place I've found is Amazon. For whatever reason, big price fluctuation at times, anywhere from like 26 bucks up to 60, which is what they actually retail for off of Zoot site, 60 bucks. But they do a great job, whether you're backpacking, running, anything that is gonna tax your legs or just traveling, like I mentioned, flying, do a really good job. As always, thanks for joining us at kibadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.